And it also gave you the start of an episode. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm just going to no, fuck this shit. Why am I doing this? Me, uh, let me just go settle some of my other issues around, around the world at this point. Like, how about I build a zoo and increase my amenities? Or I do this and increase my, my culture, or I, um... No, how about I upgrade my fucking airport? Or how about you go jump off a bridge? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, they tried to do something in this game with the districts. And it just didn't fucking work. I it like the work. idea, but you're right, Civ Five Act did it. Well, yeah, I mean, you you basically were able to construct your entire city in that one tile instead of spreading it all out over a large area. Yeah, they, they, they made it a little harder, but they made it too complex to do it. Yeah, they made it extremely complicated, and therefore now all of your cities have to compete between getting luxury and natural resource tiles or making districts to satisfy your citizens like i like the idea of having to build housing and amenities i do like that i don't like the fact that you have to have districts set up for a lot of the crap too it makes it just yeah. a little too complex mm -hmm. it, it really could have been done quite a bit better Yeah, like, like I, I wish I could do other stuff on top of a district tile. Yeah, that that would be a great idea, but unfortunately, they wouldn't want that. Nope. Uh oh, what? Ethiopia attracted enough tourists to make their culture dominant over yours. Why? Well, what? Uh, Ethiopia has gained enough. Tourists to make their culture dominant over mine. Oh, I thought you were talking about mine. I'm like, wait, what? I may confused for a second. So tell me this makes sense. Nuclear program is at the same time as suffrage in the political um, stance. Uh. Well, to be honest, the suffrage movement really only started to gain ground after the Industrial Revolution, and we were studying nuclear physics during that time. Although, we didn't quite understand how that whole radiation deal worked. I actually know very well about how that uh, all kind of happened, unfortunately. Unfortunate for those poor people. Yeah. I need amenities for this city, and I don't know what else I can build to give the city amenities. Oh, hush. I'm having a bunch of uh, barbarian... Uh, front linesmen marching down from the north and I'm having to hold them off with a cannon. And of course, I have just learned that I have oil. However, there is a downside. You have oil? Yes. Lucky. Except, except, and here is the downside. Uh huh. All oil deposits are in the water. Oh. So, I mean, yeah. you could use a normal worker to do that as long as they're within your area. No, no, I can't. Because, in order to actually get an on the water oil refinery, you have to have a. Uh, Let's see, where is it? Let me look at the tech tree here. Uh, let's see, it's 
Ah, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you have to have combustion and then plastics. Oh. I'm still on. I'm still on steel. I don't think I have either one of those. Well, uh, you said that uh, your science was way ahead of mine. My science is actually 104. No, hold on. It said combustion and plastics. Yeah. Okay, I see steel, which I actually have not researched, by the way. Oh. Wait, how is that possible? I skipped it. Jesus Christ, I, I just go in order. Yeah, I have not been doing that. I also don't, that's why I don't have oil. I haven't researched refining, because I haven't researched rifling. Oh, that's next. Or combustion, by the way, which is why I don't have tanks. Oh, God, your army is going to be better than mine just because of this. And that's also what why I can't see uranium. What army? The army that you very easily could build right now that would still be better than mine because you're going to have tanks and all that well before me now. Okay, I'm not even going to unlock uranium yet because I have actually messed it up so badly. I've been jumping forward, skipping certain things, and that has actually screwed me. So the man wants two of my great works. Um, no. Fully loyal! Wait, hold on. No, wrong, wrong city. Wrong city. Never mind. It's not the city I, um, I've been worried about being fully loyal at all. Uh, Alright, so I really need to go and repair my fucking shipyard. And you also need to fly peanut butter to your toes. I mean, that needs to happen too, but that's a different story. How is it a different story? That makes no sense. Because I only have creamy peanut butter. You clearly want me to have crunchy. Why would I want crunchy? That makes no sense. Because I would be more uncomfortable between my toes. <laughs> Why the fuck is this asshole back? How the fuck is this asshole back? This, sir, oh. is a problem. You need food. I need you to shut the fuck up about it. Um, you quite literally don't need anything because you're just an asshole. Let me see here. Uh, world I already do a meeting house. Diplomatic victory. Uh... Hmm. No, I'm not liking that. Mm, let's go ahead and build a uh, mine there. Hold on. Maybe my heavy cavalry will be a better match up against these uh, musketeers. Do I have any more army moving? No, I don't, which is actually a problem because I actually need a unit over here, like now. No, he'll be fine. He will be fine. I'm not even going to worry about it. What do you mean it's my turn? 
Trading post created. Okay. You make a farm. I, you just sit there. I'm not sure. Oh, no, I might make it. Ooh. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll accept that deal. that because that right there may actually prevent their uh prevent their rebellion if I start importing food you bomb the hell out of these people can I do that air attack them probably not hell yeah bye bye barbarians I'm so happy I could do that right now. Production. Yeah, I just purchased like 30 new tiles so I can start building more stuff. <laughs> I am building an army still. Not for long, of course. I mean, the only reason I have an army is so I can shoot at the, um, the, uh, what, what are they called? The barbarians who sneak around in the fog of war. Why are there no trade routes for this guy? Yeah, just move there. Why not? I can move um, stuff in. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they're giving me coal for my art and silver. That's a good. Uh, that's a good deal for me. Oh, good. My, uh, my heavy cavalry has finally arrived. Oh, that's right. You do need more minis. There's not so that you can do build the increased trade route capacity. Okay, I used to have four trade routes, and I've suddenly lost one. But okay. Okay, I have the uh, um, Hawaiian dude congratulating me on my one plane Air Force. Yeah, he congratulated me that my water was clean and the land was green. Apparently, he has his favorite. 
hopefully. Well, obviously. <clears throat> you can tell that someone's favored when they get praised just for the sky being blue. Hey, <laughs> it's like Harold for me. want my aluminum for that. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I cannot do the aluminum. I can do that, why not? Space race, why not? Actually, reference Pullman may have been better. Oh, wow, look at that. I've actually had over a thousand points in the world games. Nice. Am, am I even still in this in the running for it? Yeah, looks like I am. Good. Oh, yeah, you are. I mean, you're not gonna win, but you're in the running. Yeah, I already knew I wasn't gonna win. I just I stopped. Okay, <laughs> I actually gave up on it. Arena sounds like a good amenity. I've made a new city state. Wasn't sure there was any more left. Oh. Oh! You're way over there. Okay. Let me see here. Let's just do Jerusalem. Oh. Well, there goes one spy. Okay, choose a civic. Scorched Earth. An offensive spy operation would be using against another another sieve, right? Yeah. Well, I thought. Okay. Seems like I'm not gaining error points for it like I'm supposed to. Either that or I'm just not paying attention. Okay, so there's apparently a lot of... Uh... A lot of enemies up there, and so maybe it's not a wise idea to march my uh, curious ear up there to be killed. Probably be a lot better just to hammer away at him from below. I really need y'all's production to be finished so I can um move that production to its newer location oh and um yeah the final update for the uh pokemon scarlet and violet game came out yesterday okay yeah it, uh, it was about the epilogue of the hidden treasure of area zero and the exclusive um <laughs> legendary pokemon featured in that one petra runt and you'd probably get a kick out of its ability, Charlie. Okay. See, Petra Run's whole deal is that it enslaves other Pokemon and people by feeding them poison mochi. Kind of Japanese food of some kind. Yeah. Well, its ability is Puppet Master. Ooh. 
poison puppeteer or whatever. Um, basically, it has a move called Malignant Chain that does damage and also badly poisons the user like you would Toxic. Um, and then once you're poisoned, you also become confused due to its ability. Hmm. Yeah, so it, it's kind of good. <sighs> I am totally not gaining error points for, for my spy work. This, sir, is a problem. Mm-hmm. Well, this next turn is going to be real interesting. Uh, why you say it like that? Well, you'll figure it out. right now but I will definitely build a theater square right there oh no that's gonna be way overpowered no it's not hold on. hold on not as bad as I think um, I, I moved one of my planes, and you can move it to the city. You don't have to have an airport, like I thought. But I might not be able yeah. to stack them on the city like I can on the airport. On the airport, I can stack up to three currently. Ah. I will gladly take tin oil for some aluminum, buddy. Am I producing enough oil, um, aluminum for that? Barely. See what World Congress has in store. Hungarian Empire needs aid. A natural disaster. Hmm. Generating CO2 will reduce your score. I'm not sure if I'm generating any. Neither am I. I'll say yes once, but eh. if it was Solomon, I would have a, I would have an absolute problem. Let's fuck him. I didn't even get to vote. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I did not even get to vote that time around. That's fine. You don't need to. Oh, yeah. Um, I couldn't vote on that. Why? Are you the I reason? I haven't met Hungary. Oh, okay. I ain't worried about it. Okay, not... so, um, yeah, I won. Yeah. What? Um, yeah, I, I won. Won what? The, uh, World Game Competition. Oh, yeah. Did I at least get a second place prize? No. How does this city need food? Of all the cities that need food, why do you need food? Yeah, whatever, I don't even care. 
Alright, um, let me go back and finish what I have absolutely fucked up here. I'm just going to go straight over to oil, which will take three turns to do. No, hold on. No, it's not, because I gotta do military s science, then rifling, then refining. Gosh darn it, that's gonna take six turns total for that full okay. research. Build the stock exchange and an arena. And, okay. Uh, we cannot a stack. Store. <laughs> and another sewer. And let's see here replaceable parts. Then next turn. Oh, yeah, here now I get to vote on something. Let's see. Uh, Are you voting to prohibit the chopping down of the rainforest? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, public relations generates chosen player generates a hundred percent more grievances the players generate. Oh, okay. Uh, how about we both vote? Uh, how about Suleiman? On the 100% more grievances? Yeah. I'm up for that. Yeah, I even throw a few extra towards that. Okay. And I'm just going to throw uh, a bunch in there. Go with that. All of my CO2 is from coal. Let's see here. Solomon got targeted. Perfect. Yep. Oh. I didn't get the two free points. I wasted so many points on that, too. Oh. I met the Hungarians, finally. So, you, you want to hear something crazy? I'm producing less CO2 than you. Really? Yeah. I'm actually producing the less, least amount of CO2 in the entire world. Somehow. They just haven't seen me at war yet. Hey, my waters are clear and clean, and my land stays green. That's, uh, your buddy. Oh, I got two diplomatic victory points. So, uh... I only ended up with one. Actually, we're tied. For diplomatic victory now. Me and me and you? Yep. Ten to ten. <laughs> I'm looking at domination. Whoops. Oh, it is. I didn't realize I was winning that, actually. Huh. Well, it's it's because um apparently the other civs have been getting up to some weirdness. You know, it, it's like some of them have been trying to conspire against me in diplomatic victory points, and others have just barely outcompeted me and you for that. Um, 
I, I'm all, I've always been bad at that World Congress mechanic simply because of the fact that I can never figure out what the other civs are going to vote in favor of. Barbarians are in ironclads. Wait, what? Barbarians are in ironclads. Well, I, I have actually barbarians up guy. here that have rifles. So that's not a, very surprising. Wait, I could bomb someone else's resources? This, yeah, I... This is nuts. I um, But it would probably be an act of war. It absolutely probably would be. Like, it's a city-state. Like, I could bomb Geneva's resources, and I could bomb, um... There's, like, some niter belonging up here to, uh, uh... Uh, the Ethiopians. Which, um, I'm going to try to convinced to assist me and I'm also going to try and convince the um whoever ghoul is. Gaul, you mean? Gaul. Yeah. Oh, I found that settlement at long last. Gosh darn, what the hell? What? Ethiopia is at minus nine on sending aid. How am I lower than Ethiopia? No, you're not. You're not. Ethiopia is at minus nine. The only people that could send aid is me and Harold. Apparently. Oh. That means I could absolutely just come in first on this with no problem. I've unfortunately spent a lot of gold recently. My gold in my my gold production has also plummeted with this army. Um Why are there line in infantry and ironclads right off my coastline? Whose are they? Well they they belong to Ethiopia, but we're not at war. At least, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check here. Don't think you are, but he might be declaring war soon. Well, no. Friendly with no grievances. Okay. So, um, I have made, uh, made this city that I, uh, accidentally just inherited of, of Hamar. No longer revolting. They're fully loyal somehow. I kind of hate this. Matter of fact, they trade with me a lot, too. Harold trades with me a lot. Okay. What the hell that was, but um, that was a rock concert for sure. Oh, there's literally an Ethiopia rock band. I could give you iron. I'm not sure where you think I have tin oil, but um, sure. You could have tin oil. Um, actually, I do know where I got tin oil. I got it from a trade earlier. See, uh. Hmm. Send some more aid. Cause, gosh darn, Ethiopia's at minus 14 now. I could no, no. Oh, ironclads are hard to kill. Might just be he's just moving his army around at this point. I mean, no, no, no. It's they a, don't. Uh, they're 
barbarians. Wait, what? They're barbarians. No, no, no. I'm talking about Ethiopia's army oh. here. Yeah, I mean, they have a lineman, and they have two cannons and an ironclad. Uh, oh! What? Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's not a good noise. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, apparently, Menelik, um, Menelik was most definitely going to war on me. Well, Harold just declared war on Menelik as well. Yeah? Um, and Jerusalem. I don't know why everyone just declared, decided... Everyone just declared war on him, too. Where the well, hell did I mean... these assholes come from? No, I don't think these pikemen are going to survive a bombing from an actual bomber. Yeah, they probably won't. They um, didn't. Where did I get a musket yeah. man from? Fuck that guy. Suppose I should uh, invest very heavily in a... Um... Suleiman has proposed a deal here. It, he's trying to give me uranium. I will refuse that deal. I have no use for your uranium, Suleiman. Enemy spy escapes. Good. Hmm. Well, to be perfectly honest, it doesn't actually look like he poses much of a threat at the moment. I'm going to be that dark age. This sucks. I mean, he only has two cannons in my territory now. And, um, it doesn't seem like he really knows what he's doing. Let's make an encampment so that I can, uh, focus on military things. Let's, uh, let's make a curacer. Okay, never mind. He got a lot more guns than before. Do, do, I, do I need to send my navy up there? Charlie, your navy ain't gonna do jack shit. You're right, it's only two boats. Yeah, he has ironclad. The Ottomans have a settler out.
Yeah, sure. I was afraid of assholes. I'm actually very disappointed with how that what that cannon did. You go away, cannon. Alright, um let's see. I really don't have en enough enough aluminum to keep building these guys. So I really, at this point, will just need to build right here and actually fight that bullet. I really am. I hate that I have to. I'm going to have to, though. Bite what bullet? Dark Age? Other than that, because that's coming up, too. No, um, I'm going to have to actually bite the bullet on... um. Oh, it's perfect. On, um... Shit, words, please. Damn it. No words uh, on, on, on another settler. Alright, so, let's just talk to some of my friends here. Make a let's deal. See here. I guess I'll just start purchasing some, uh... I could join ongoing war. Field cannon. Yeah, um, apparently it never occurred to him that the main reason why I had no standing army was that no one had bothered to step to me before. I really want you to make peace with him first. Or did I just accidentally hit yes? I just accidentally hit yes, didn't I? I did. Wow, you declared war on Suleiman. Yes, I did. First off, this asshole. Claimed a great person. Hmm. Why, why can I cannot air attack these units? That's unfavorable terrain. I want to attack that. Why, why can I not attack this? He doesn't seem to be making any real measurable progress for the moment, though, because I, I've I've got a pretty strong front here. I mean, I've got plenty of cannons. None of my cities have fallen. He doesn't even seem to have any melee inventory. He's just he's just lobbing cannons and boats. At me. I really should ask Harold for assistance. 
in this war as well, though. I don't think he'd actually ever come for me. I need to ask Harold and Ghoul for assistance. I really do. I've received two deals. Mark, he has proposed a deal. I'm not fighting him. I'm not fighting him. I already know what this deal is going to be. I bet I do. Yeah, um, he is really spinning his wheels here because it, it doesn't look like he's going to make any kind of success in breaking me because I, I've just about scattered his forces again. So it's... Uh... Wasn't aware I had jeans, but okay. I have now realized I am losing money here, and this is a bad thing. I, on the other hand, seem to keep making money. Matter of fact, this war seems to have made me quite wealthy. That guy did not survive. Uh, I want to now talk to you. Can I not ask you to join a war with me? Who? Uh, Goal. Goal. Goal? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that would be in their best interest. Uh, fighting the guy who's in the information era. <laughs> uh, never mind. How about you? You like me? Still? Make a deal. Join ongoing war? Formal war with Markian. Don't. I wonder if they. That, that would make no sense for that. That's what I want. Yep, and Harold's not willing to go to war for me. Nope, it looks well, of like... Of course he's not. He's already in the middle of a war with someone else. Who? Harold? Oh, Menelik. yeah. 
Uh, he is at a war with him, and then he, that guy's at a war with you and Solomon. What are you talking about? Menelik never declared war on Suleiman. It's literally Menelik declares war on me. Menelik gets war declared on him by me and Harold Hardrada. That's the whole relationship. <laughs>